Following the Supreme Court's ruling overturning Roe v. Wade on Friday, local physicians and pharmacists have been fielding more questions about preventative medical options. And those questions include some about emergency contraceptives used as a way to help prevent pregnancies. We want to go to KXAN's Kelsey Thompson, who spoke with an Austin pharmacy specialist today. Kelsey, what did you learn? Well, Britt, the biggest thing is that emergency contraceptives aren't a replacement for birth control or other contraceptives, but a backup option if those contraceptives fail. Something to keep in mind when it comes to plan B options are those vary depending on a person's weight or body mass index. Over-the-counter options like plan B are most effective for people weighing less than 165 pounds, while copper IUDs or the prescription Ella are available for people who weigh more than 165 pounds or have a BMI above 26. Here's something that made me take pause. There's a lot of talk of people stockpiling on emergency contraceptives. Have you been hearing this and what is the risk that people should know about? Yeah, Britt, there's been a lot of chatter about that, and the biggest thing is making sure you're using medications that haven't expired. Plan B options typically have a shelf life around four years, but it's primarily used as a backup option instead of a daily form of birth control. So experts are telling us they don't recommend buying in bulk. Take a listen. When we're talking about something as, as sensitive or as um, like time concerning as emergency contraceptive, uh, which really needs to be used right away after pregnancy or after a potential uh, pregnancy event. Um, so within 72 hours to try and prevent that pregnancy. Um, you, and you really don't want to have uh, to be using with something that could be expired. Now there isn't a health risk associated with taking expired medications like Plan B, but its effectiveness will wane after its expiration date. Well, we've reported here on a lot of the supply chain issues lately. Kelsey, what are pharmacists seeing with these uh, Plan B supplies? Robert, they say they aren't seeing a shortage of products being made, but suppliers are putting a cap on the number of Plan B options available that pharmacies can purchase. Terrytown Pharmacy tells us this is reflective of national demand levels. That supplier, when I looked earlier to see about ordering more medication, they are limiting the amount that they will send me. So they're doing what's called like an allocation. So each pharmacy is being uh, limited to a certain amount of, um, of product per day. Now beyond Terrytown, CVS also announced Tuesday it's limiting emergency contraceptives to three box per customer to keep up with demands.